Hello, welcome to Wise Guy. Concentration of a solution modality two. In this session, I would like to show you how to solve modality problem when given solute as mass. So let's look at the question. Before we do question, we need to make sure. In the first session, modality one. I showed you how to find concentration if we already given the moles of solute and region of solution just divided. But if you given the grams of solute, so we need to convert the grams of solute into moles. So this is the set this session I want to show you. Step one, calculate the molar mass for given compound. And step two, find number of moles. Because number of moles equals given mass in grams divided the molar mass. Step three, find molarity. So we need to make sure the volume of solution is in liter. So first step, if we given the compound in gram, we need to calculate the molar mass. First, we need to know what kind of substance, right? And find from periodic table, we find the molar mass for each element and calculate the molar mass for the given compound. Then convert to number of moles using this form, right? This is the, you, when you learn how to find number of moles, and use this formula, given mass, total mass, and divided molar mass. Molar mass for, molar mass means for each mole is how many grams, right? So let's look at uh, example. Practice question. What is molality of 12.8 gram of potential bromine, bromide in 500 milliliters of solution. So we given 12.8 is in mass in the gram. So looking for molality, we need to find, convert this one to moles. To convert 12.8 grams to moles, we need to find the molar mass for potential Bromide. You check the periodic table, so potential is 39.10 gram per mole. Okay? And the bromine is 79.9 gram per mole. So total the potential bromide is add together is uh, we can say 119.00 gram per mole. That means each mole of potential bromide, the mass is 119 grams. So using this information, we can find how many moles for 12.8 grams. Even we don't need to use that formula, you can use that formula, but sometimes you, you forgot the formula, but you need, using this information, you can say 19.00 grams, and this is one mole, right? Per mole and one mole. Now, I have two 12.8 grams and how many more? Right? This is the ratio proportion. More mass, more number of moles. That's why you can calculate x cross multiplication. x equals to 12.8 divided by 119.00. You got this answer. We can calculate the answer is 12.8 divided 119 equals 
very small number, 0 0.1076 round up. This is a mole, okay? This is a mole. After five mole, because we already have the liter of solution is 500 milliliter, so we can convert 500 milliliter into liter is 0 0.5 liter, right? Then we can use these two number find the molality. So molality equals to number of balls is 0 0.1076 and divide the liter solution is 0 0.5 liter. The answer you got to divide 0 0.5 actually the multiply 2, you got 0 0.215 molarity. So this is the answer. Let's look at the second question. How do we prepare for 0 0.0 liter of a 2 molarity sodium chloride solution. How do we prepare? How much, how many grams you need to make 2 molarity and 4 liter solution? So, from the molarity formula, we first you can find the number of moles, right? To make two molarity and four liter, how many moles of sodium chloride we need? So we plug these two numbers into the formula, which is start from concentration 2.0 molarity, because the number of moles, which is the x we're looking for, divide the liter of solution is four liter. So we got the x equals over one cross multiplication, we got eight more, right? Two times four, we call eight. The unit this one is more. We need eight moles of sodium chloride. So what is molar mass for sodium chloride? So we can check the period on the table. Sodium, because this is a one sodium, one more sodium. Sodium equals to, we can check the purity table. We got the, this is 22.99. We keep all the decimal 22.99. And uh, this is a gram per mole. And the chlorine, one more equals 30. 5.45 grams per mole. All these two numbers is molar mass check from period table. And then, so one more of sodium chloride equals 22.99 plus 35.45, which equals 58. 0.44 grams, right? Grams. So one more is this much grams. So now we need eight more and how many grams? So we still need this, can set up ratio proportion. So you can say one more over 58.44 grams. Now we have eight more is how many grams? Right? So cross multiplication, you got x equals to, because this is 1, just multiply these two numbers, we got the answer. So we can use 58.44 times 8, you got 467.52. So you wait 467.52 grams of sodium chloride, you weight 467.52 grams of sodium chloride, put in a container, add water, 
until the final is four leaders. Final is four leaders, right? To make prepare this solution. Okay. This is presented by white guys. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.